Here we are guys, it's a week before the Wisco gun season opener and uh, I'm taking advantage of the cold, wet, windy ass day to rake my trail going to my stand. I do this every year, I'm telling you getting in and out, especially during gun season, you know, it, it helps tremendously. Um, I've gotten in already in years past where, honestly, I've had deer get up 30 yards from me after light, not even know I was there. So, it's just an idea. I'm not saying you gotta do it, but it sure the heck helps. Plus, you know, you're not guessing where your tree stand is. <laughs> We've all been there. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a safe and uh, successful uh, year this year. And, uh, for me, it's been a blast. I've got a lot of stuff at home done, you know, being able to shoot that buck earlier this year. Like I said, it wasn't my biggest, but it checked all the boxes, especially with, uh, I've got shoulder surgery coming up in December, so getting that done, you know, because you feel obligated to go if, uh, if you don't have a deer. I don't wanna say obligated, even just, you know, that passion drives you hard, but, uh, Anyway, you guys have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Um, I definitely will keep you updated as the uh, gun season goes with our group. So, again, I hope everyone's having a safe and successful year, and let me know how you guys are doing. Have a good one. All right, got my trail all raked. Heading back to my dad's stand now, and uh, we put, well... We had some catastrophic failures the other night. In Wisconsin, we had uh, some 60 to 70 mile an hour winds the other day, or the other night. And uh, needless to say, uh, my dad's platform that he's got his tent on, um, the tent acted like a parachute. And the platform, which weighs probably 300 pounds, uh, picked up and moved about 20, 20 yards, I would say. So we came back and we've got some uh, stakes, some some uh, marker stakes pounded in next to all four legs and then we screwed them to the legs. I ain't going anywhere anymore. But we weren't sure what would be better. And talking with an individual that, uh, well, he's smarter than I am, he did some, some calculations and showed me how wind actually works and lift and everything else. And closing the tent windows is probably the better idea. Normally we keep them closed, and that night it was closed, but we left them open when we put a new tent back up, thinking, well, maybe the wind will go through it. But after listening to the uh, person that was helping us out, he said, yeah, you're probably going to want to keep them closed. So I'm going to go out there and close his windows, because we're supposed to get 40 mile an hour gusts again tonight. And the storm's coming. The storm isn't coming. So... I'm headed back there now and uh, going to close them up. And then after that, we're going to do a little tree trimming over by my gun stand. I know, talk about last minute, but hey, when it's windy, cold, and wet like this, you can get away with a lot, especially during the rut. Well, we're kind of locked down on does right now. So we're not seeing a lot of, a lot of daytime movement. Um, but we are seeing it. Uh, the buck sightings have gone down tremendously for my brother and my son. And I'm hoping that tonight my brother can connect. Um, we're still getting some good bucks on camera. And uh, so, I mean, we're, we're hopeful for next weekend that, you know, one of us can at least get something decent. I would love for my dad or my brother, who neither one has ever shot in a big buck, and my brother's never shot in a buck. He's all, and he's over 40. And he's been hunting as almost as long as I have. He just has had that bad luck. And we've all been there. But he doesn't put the time in like the rest of us do either. So anyway, that's what we got going on so far. And uh, I'm not paying too much attention to the camera because, well, frick, it's the rut, man. I'm looking around for bucks. <laughs> so we'll talk in a little while. So I'm walking up on my dad's stand, and this is the stand I was talking about. 
the platform itself, and I'm not kidding you, it probably weighs 300 pounds. And we had to put a new tent on it because the other one got destroyed. But it went all Oz on us. I mean, there's a little spot about 20 yards back behind us that we found it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen anything that crazy. Well, yeah, I have, but I mean, if you watch some of my other videos, I had a tornado go right over the top of my house. But anyway. Well, I'm on my way home. Got everything done that we needed to get done. And uh, it is crappy out. We just beat the weather. It's sleeting, rainy, cold, windy. Uh, it was starting to sleet a little bit when we were uh, trimming trees. And that got interesting. <laughs> but we got it all done. We're all ready for next weekend. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, we just need to cure the deer now. So good luck to everybody um, this upcoming weekend uh, gun hunting. Have a safe gun season. Uh, remember, uh, you know, for, for the most part, gun season for the most people in Wisconsin is all about getting together with family and friends, having a good time, and maybe put some meat on the table and just really spending some quality time out in the woods. Um, especially if you're a bow hunter, you know, us bow hunters, we take, we take bow hunting a little more serious and in gun season, it's just about having a good time and maybe putting some meat on the table. But I digress. You guys, you have a good one. If uh, you're all still out there bull hunting, good luck to you. Um, you've got four days left, uh, or five days left. I don't know. The laws change every darn year. You never know what you got. But good luck. Be safe. Arrows straight. And uh, we'll check in uh, for bull hunting. See you guys later. I take that back. We'll check in for gun hunting. We'll see you guys later. Take care and God bless.